So for the past few days we've been uh, visiting my old school, my old high school in Tunbridge called the Judd School, where we took our board game that we made as part of our human presses. The aim of the game is to introduce high school students to synthetic biology. We've tested it ourselves, but uh, we wanted to see if the actual target audience liked it. So we thought, introduce it to my school, that would be a good idea. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. So, I call motor. It says ideal for party. So ideal for party is the model of temperature. Yeah. No, I've got an idea. No, 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 how far these, how resistant these are. It's, yeah, it's an experimental test. No, it's, I think they're scraping one. It's an experimental test, because because it's pointless. you need to try things in a natural environment. I couldn't be happier. When, uh, for a lot of the things I've been doing through the Genavigate project, you sort of think, this is a good idea, um, the concept's right, but was it going to work? And, and it completely um, exceeded my expectations. When I saw the engagement of the boys with the game, that, that hooked them, and, and I was able to use that knowledge that they then has in the simulation to, to, to equate, you know, the, well that piece there, that's like the red card or, or whatever, and um, it, it just got them going, it was brilliant. I really would like a copy of the game. No, so, there's there's like food. Food. so they need food, so edible fungus, yeah. so, so basically we're in volcanic region, yeah. this, this um, promoter is called Salt EE, and it's a very reliable and combat compatible promoter. Salt EE pr promotes the genome when salt is detected. I asked some of the students that took part on it and they, they seemed really excited and really engaged with it. Um, I, I, I really love the idea of choosing different things that mm -hmm. will go together. I really, really lo lo love the concept. I think it's quite conceptual. Um, and the other thing that, um, that I think is that it, it has the potential for, for several years. You can, you can see how it worked at GCSE and then when, you, when you're doing it at their level, there's no doubt I would, I would introduce them to it. What if you're vegan? If you're vegan? You can say it's from mushrooms. You speak to the vegan? We'll just uh, Volcanoes are often formed on destructive plate margins and the ocean, the oceanic plate goes under the continental plate so there's lots of salt there in the sea. The, Rock under the sea will have salt in, and then that goes down into the um, magma, and then that will come up the volcano, and that whole lot of salt. That's actually true. Oh, I'm giving you five. Trust Give us at least six. 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 My answer was so good. That's fifteen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is it something you'd like to carry on implementing? For longer, yeah. uh, absolutely. I've, well, our year tens have done protein synthesis um, as part of their course. I want to start using them in year twelve. So I, I see I need to use, do the same um, steps with them as I've just done with the year tens. So play the game, play the simulation. Then we would go onto a wet lab and get them following an iGEM team. So I, I think that's the route through. So the game is an integral part of it. Yes. Yeah. Nineteen. 19, 22, how many is that? 24, 6, 8, 30. I really enjoyed it, I thought it was a interesting discussion, interesting sort of debate between people. Um, there's a lot of sort of competition to create and try and win it. It was sort of really competitive. So how did you first hear about IDA? I was um, running a project for the Rolls Royce Science Prize um, that we won in 2015 and it was a, a project that was bringing DNA technology to the general public using our A-level students as teachers. I began to see how important the, uh, the IGEM competition was and was watching it through that and realising there were no British school teams in, involved. I did apply to be in the competition this year, realised that we weren't going to make it for this year, we weren't up to speed. So I'm going over as a judge for the high school track. With that information that I've got, the, the new knowledge, we'll, we'll get the teams working to, to be all on track for next year. I think the idea that in the game they get exposed to different scenarios and they have to think about what sort of things they would want to use for different scenarios 
will definitely be a good starting point to get them thinking about a project that they can come up with, so, so an idea for their iGEM entry. Uh, we went back on the second day to give a talk to predominantly the year 12s, but also it was open to the rest of the school, just uh, on synthetic biology, what it involves, and uh, iGEM as a whole. What do you guys understand as synthetic biology? Do you know what it is? Yep. <laughs> creating people, not quite. Not quite creating people, no. Uh, anyone else? Yep. Subject and genetic. Touchy subject, not quite. Yep. This is an organism that um, organic compounds to create new and useful substances. That's exactly right. Yeah. So here's a couple of, of the fields in which you can find applications for synthetic biology. You can see there's biotechnology, astrobiology, industry, medicine, the environment, everything else you can think of, something can be done to do with synthetic biology. Literally everything that uses a chemical, the, the chair you're sitting on, it's, it's made of things that are made of chemicals and we can produce these using synthetic biology. If you do physics and you hear some bio, you might think this isn't for you, but that's not true. You said it's got everything in it, and it's very much like circuitry for me. It's taking biological parts and using them like circuit parts, so your cells, your light bulbs, your resistors, you're taking them and you're making a circuit. So for example, in Symbio, you might take a coding region, which can make a protein called GFP, take it from jellyfish, and it will fluoresce green. That will do the same as a bulb, for example, in a circuit. The meeting the, the, the Exeter team has been really valuable, and um, so each step is, is getting clearer. I barely knew about any of this before today. I'm, I'm definitely much more likely to take uh, biology for a level. Because, I mean, I don't want to sound cliche, but this is the future. This is, this is the future of, of biology, of computer science, and I would definitely want to be a part of it.